from an audio standpoint, one of the coolest things that's been happening over the last, I'd say, probably five years is the ability to create speakers that can steer sound as crazy as it sounds. Um, there are a couple of companies that are deploying speakers now where you can actually, based on frequency within the box, steer certain frequencies and sound to even dispersion throughout venues. It especially happens and is helpful in, uh, in arenas because when you have a tall venue, you have to use line arrays that, um, that will send vertically. And so by being able to steer sound, you can remove pockets, you can remove low end nodes and lobes and areas where things will propagate um, and even the coverage out. So everybody in the house has the same experience, whether you're up in the nosebleeds or whether you're down on the floor, the sound is perfectly clear. Uh, and there are some great companies out there that are doing some really cool work with that. I would say that one of the cooler things right now is from an LED standpoint. Lowering power consumption is huge, especially in lighting right now. With LED coming out, whether it is with ellipsoidals, different moving head uh, fixtures, whether it's um, you know, profile fixtures or wash fixtures, um, I think one of the greatest things is that the lighting companies, especially as they invest more in LED technology, are lowering the cost of doing events because they're lowering the amount of power we need. 20 years ago, if I were to bring in a huge uh, lighting rig, it was gonna be two 400 amp services for you know, 120K or 220K of park hands, plus moving lights, plus everything else. Uh, whereas now, a lot of lighting rigs can be on 100 amp, 200 amp service. And they've cut, I would say, the power consumption tenfold at this point. And it's a great way for meeting planners and event planners to save money, whether it's on power, uh, you know, insist that the companies you're working with are thinking about these things. They're investing in technology that is uh, less consuming less power. Uh, video, the same way. Now that we're moving into laser projection, uh, which I would say laser projection is very much mainstream now, laser projectors consume less power. We can get brighter images, brighter pictures um, in less power consumption especially gig rent, we're a Barco house predominantly. We carry Barco and Panasonic projectors um, pretty much exclusively because we believe in their technologies and the direction that they're going. Barco is releasing a projector at the end of this year that consumes 30% less power than the lamp-based predecessor that it's replacing. 30% is huge. So we'll be able to do more projectors. We'll be able to use uh, brighter projectors on events that used to, maybe we had to plug it into a wall for an Edison, you know, we had to plug it into 120 volt power. Well, now we've got bigger projectors that are brighter that we can use off the same power we were using 10K projectors just four or five years ago. There's so many things that you can do with projection that you can't do with LED. It's just not possible. I can't put LED all over the side of a building for a reasonable cost and call it LED mapping. Like it just doesn't work. I can't, it's much more difficult to build um, a curved LED screen than it is to do curved projection screens or environmental projection when you're projecting on a circle or another item. With LED, uh, everything's in squares or rectangles. Whereas with projection, I can put up any shape I want. I can create a mask and then all of a sudden I have a screen of that shape.